Now you might be thinking, who's that speedy individual? This is a footy channel, where's the footy? Well, that speedy individual is in fact Xavier Savage, the same Xavier Savage that took the NRL by storm in just three appearances in 2021. In this video, I'll be detailing some of Xavier's story to this point and why Savage has the attributes to tear up the NRL and become the sport's next superstar. A proud Indigenous Australian and Torres Strait Islander, Xavier Savage is a supreme athlete who has been on the radar of rugby league clubs from a young age. Growing up in Cairns, he played his junior footy for Cairns Brothers before moving to Brisbane Boys College for Rugby Union and Palm Beach Currumbin for Rugby League. Xavier was snapped up by the Sydney Roosters SG ball side and was highly touted early on. He featured in the under-16 Queensland Maroon side that included notable names like Reese Walsh and Brendan Piacura. He showed his speed in this game, performing an absolutely amazing chase down try saver. These were the moments that excited scouts as his pure athleticism and speed was already at an NRL level even at 16. He would help the Queensland schoolboys sign to their first national title in a decade scoring 6 tries in 4 games. As Xavier started to make a name for himself in the league sphere, it was actually athletics where Savage really shone. Xavier ran a 10.95 in the 100m Queensland Junior Athletics competition, winning the 100m, 200m and long jump event at the under 17 level. Savage's 100m time puts him amongst the likes of Josh Adokar who has a 100m time of 10.6, Hamaso Tabuai Fado who has been timed at 10.85 and James Robert who has been recorded at 11 seconds flat. It would be hamstring injuries though that ultimately derailed Savage's future in athletics and is why he focused his effort on making the NRL. Those hopes and dreams of making the big time would start to materialise when he would sign with the Canberra Raiders in 2019. He would feature for the Raiders SG ball side, helping the team to a grand final, finishing the season with 3 tries, 1 try assist, 5 line breaks and 25 tackle busts in 6 games played. He was then caught up mid-season to the New South Wales Cup, where he scored a hat-trick on debut and totaled 5 tries and 16 tackle breaks in just 5 appearances in 2021. This was enough to force Ricky Stewart's hand and select Savage as the 18th man for their round 15 matchup against the St George Illawarra Dragons. Savage would have one of the more bizarre NRL debuts probably ever, as he went on at halftime for Sebastian Chris, who left the field with a HIA. The Raiders had mistakenly believed that Jack Bird had been sin-binned, which would have warranted a free interchange for the 18th man. After 11 minutes on the field, Savage was removed after the Raiders realised Bird was in fact only put onto a report, deeming the interchange illegal. Although a crazy way to debut and most likely not what Savage expected, he was incredibly grateful for it. The Raiders would actually be fined $5,000 for the incident, with Ricky Stewart owning up to the mistake. He would debut in round 17 against the Manly Seagulls, and he played okay, but it was the following week's performance against the Sharks which gave us a taste of what Savage has to offer. Xavier was electric with 246 total run meters, 9 tackle breaks, 2 line breaks and a try. Able to brush defenders with his speed and surprising strength, he would set up this beauty of a try as well. This is what we can expect from Savage with his ability to burst through the line off offloads and broken play. A guy that is not only incredibly fast, but is strong and can break tackles, evidenced by his nine tackle breaks in a single game. He was the out and out best player on the field in what was only his second proper NRL appearance. Unfortunately, Savage would suffer an AC joint injury and wouldn't return for the remainder of the season. Although an incredibly small sample size, Savage showed that he was more than capable at rugby league's top level. With the attributes that Savage possesses, it's not a stretch that we may see Xavier in a Queensland Maroons jersey in the next few seasons. Hell, if Savage is granted the number one jersey this year over Sean's Nickel Klukstar, who is rumoured to be moving to the centres this season, we may see Savage in the Maroons side this coming year with how light Queensland are in the backs. A lot will have to go right for that to be the outcome this year, but it's pretty clear that both Canberra and Queensland have an elite prospect on their hands, who is ready to transition into a star in 2022. That's all for this video, just a subjective look at one of the hottest prospects in footy right now. I am excited to see what Xavier can produce in 2022. If you enjoyed this video, press the like button and don't forget to subscribe. We are on the road to 10k subs. Let's keep it going. And as always, a big thank you for your continued support.